Hi, I'm Takia Louise. Thanks for clicking through to view my demo and first impressions review of the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in 12 Spiced Almond. Now I know this foundation has been out for a minute, but I just picked it up the other day at my local Walgreens when I went looking for new items. I do have a mini drugstore haul that I posted a few days ago, so please click the info card to check that out after this video. Now the only thing that I have on my skin right now is my Revision Skincare Professional Multi-Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I wear this every day of my life. And then to take away a little bit of the shine that's left over from that, I have on the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And I just uh, pour a little bit of this on a cotton round and dab it on my face. And I do that because I broke the pump. Now. I'm going to be using the original Beauty Blender to apply this Milani foundation. And I just got to pump it a few times because it is new. Okay, so there's one pump. I'm going to see what that does. And so far, just dotting it on my face, I feel like it is a pretty good match. I'm just going to go ahead and finish applying it. So that's one pump. Got to use a little bit more. I might have just put on way too much. I did like another pump and a half. But this time I pressed all the way down. Whereas before, I was just doing it gently. Now the first thing I noticed is that it has a slight floral, perfumey type scent. Like something somebody's Nana would wear. I'm hoping that dissipates throughout the wear of this. And it seems to be going on nice and smooth and it looks pretty even to me and some of the claims for this foundation is that it's medium to full coverage lightweight oil-free formula long wearing water resistant and sweat proof I'll definitely be testing the sweat proof aspect because I do sweat in my face my skin is generally combination but it leans more towards oily but I do have highly sensitive skin so I'm very careful about what I put on my skin I'm just gonna take a closer look so far I like what I see it made me a little more chocolatey which I like now I'm going to take um, these Bosha blotting linens and just try to take away a little of that shine. I was going to put on a Smashbox uh, photo finish primer but I forgot that so we'll have to go without it so I'm just going to use this blotting linen to take away a little of that shine like I said. So that's looking better. I still want it to be a little more matte. So I am going to set it and I'm just using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in W8 Cream Cafe. If I can get this open. It's really difficult though. There we go. And I'm just using this Tarte powder brush that I got from a kit that I bought from either HSN or CVS. So taking some powder on here. And this 
kind of makes me a little more golden type tone. And this is how it looks so far. It is 11.14 a.m. So I'll do another check-in a uh, couple hours down the line to see how it's holding up. And I will see you then. Okay, so I'm back and it is 6.38. So I've been wearing this foundation for a little over seven hours. And as you can see, there's a lot of oil peeking through around my nose, which I kind of expected. There's some shine on my chin and forehead, and I feel like it got just a tad bit darker throughout the day, but I like the way that it looks. It makes me look a little more chocolatey. I think I can go ahead and fix the shine by using these uh, Bosha oil blotting linens. And I really like these because of the big size. So I'm gonna start around my nose. And then just move up around my face with the blotting and you can already tell like the difference between the blotted side and the unblotted side so I say it is savable when you do get a little bit oily I'm just gonna continue to finish that And one thing that I did like, or earlier I mentioned that it had a slight floral scent that did go away once it dried down. And this foundation wears really comfortably. I can't even feel it on my face. And I feel like it does cover the minor little imperfections that I do have in my skin. I don't have terrible skin, but I do have like areas like where you can see my pores that are a little larger around my nose. And I feel like it went ahead and covered that up a little bit. And I like that. So I feel like, and this is how much product came off with the oil, so I feel like I kind of saved it a little bit with just blotting. Now if I were to go ahead and put it on some more powder, just around that area, I can think I can make it look brand new. Just hitting those shiny spots. But overall, I like this foundation. The one that I normally wear is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist uh, foundation. And this is in 5N Amber Honey. And I like it because it's a little kind of like golden red. Well, not really red. It's like more of a golden tone. I have that problem with foundation where I always usually buy it and it tends to get or be too red out of the bottle because I wear sunblock every day in my life. So I have like that kind of not as goldeny brown or chocolate brown skin tone is more like yellow because I'm not really getting the sun's rays on my skin as much but overall I do like this Milani perfection excuse me Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation concealer and 12 spiced almond so um, that's it for now if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Anything you do is greatly appreciated. And if you really like it, please click the notification bell so you are notified each time that I do make a video. And until the next video, take care.